this honorary knight. Ooh, okay. That big meanie must be a bad guy. Miss Honorary Knight must be careful. Even though I haven't seen him yet, I will definitely protect Dodoko. I won't let Dodoko be taken away. Even if he's Dodoko's... Dodoko's... Uh... Grandpa? Brother? Or whatever. No matter who Dodo King is, I won't lose. I love it here. There are beaches, the ocean, and the heart pastum that Barbara gave me, and all the other wonderful things. Everyone here makes it really exciting. I'm super happy. Actually, I'm a little scared. If I fail, then Dodoko will leave me. Miss Honorary Knight, will you protect Dodoko? Really? As long as you're around, Dodoko and me are safe. <laughs> I still don't understand some things. But everyone's here now. And even Mr. Albedo and Razor are here too. It's nice. <laughs> there are even more games we can play. I love being with everyone. Okay, when you want to go fish bombing, just remember to find me. The ocean really is beautiful at night. Sure. What would you like to talk about, Traveler? Work? As long as Lisa's there, I'm not worried. She's more hardworking than anyone once she gets going. Still, I put a lot on her plate this time. I do feel a little guilty. Hmm. I must send her a gift. It's a good thing that I know what she likes. I've never visited an archipelago like this before. It certainly is a place like no other. It has something of the unknown about it and seems to have its fair share of dangers. And yet, the mystery is all part of its beauty. It has a charm that I can't quite put my finger on. I think I'm slowly beginning to understand what drives adventurers to go in search of unknown places. Traveler, you're an adventurer. Do you understand what I mean? Of course, safety still comes first when adventuring. You know, I think I've come to realize that I'm lacking a certain... fun side? Sorry, I don't know exactly how to put it. Traveler, I want to ask you something. Do you think that I'm... too serious? I guess that's why everyone wants me to get more rest and relaxation. Huh? I, I never thought that anyone would consider my personality as sweet. Thank you for your constant kind words and comfort, Traveler. Whatever the case, I think I know what everyone is getting at. I'll do my best to improve. I honestly never thought that all of us would end up here. I don't know if this is right, but I think it's made Clee very happy. She likes having fun and being around people. She can take care of the excitement and I'll take care of everyone's safety. What a beautiful view. The ocean is good company. I hope we can all find some peace and happiness while we're here. All right, good night. Oh, you've arrived at a most opportune time, Honorary Knight. Klee just invited me to catch lizards with her. Care to join? Sure. Let's take advantage of the precious time left until lizard duty. Let me guess. You're thinking something along the lines of... Kaya seized an opportunity to shirk his duties. <sighs> Why do you think of me so? Of course I have a special reason for coming here. Generally speaking, I'm responsible for wrapping up various cases, but this particular incident is special. You see, not only is the acting Grand Master here, but the former fiery cavalry captain as well. Naturally, I had to see it for myself. Also, it seems like I ought to appreciate the splendid scenery and enjoy every second of summer. A lovely place, wouldn't you agree? When beholding a beautiful view, your expression should complement its beauty. Hmm. Just listening to the waves and recalling old memories is also nice. Hmm. I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be great if we could age in reverse? To be a child again and free yourself from the strife of the adult world. To be like Klee. Unrestrained and free to do whatever you want. <laughs> do you not also yearn for such a thing? What's the matter? 
D. Luke's scowl still bothering you? He's had that expression on his face for years now. He internalizes a lot of his feelings. So I'm afraid his face is stuck like that. Just treat him like a big kid. In my opinion, it would be a good thing if people could stay young forever. Hmm? What is that, you ask? <laughs> would I do such a thing? I wasn't jibing him. Whether they be adults or children, everyone on this island sure is a source of concern. Going so soon? Eh, then have a good night. Walking along the shore by yourself at this time of night seems lonesome. Sure. I was skeptical of the letter from the beginning, but out of caution, I asked others about it. Sure enough, I wasn't the only recipient. This is clearly a premeditated act. The responsible party's objective has yet to be revealed, so I came here to investigate. Now that I'm here, you can relax. The scenery here is not bad. Walking on the shore at night almost makes you feel like you're on a vacation. Could this be a ploy to lower our guard? Me? My affairs are hardly worth discuss- Rather, I'm more concerned about your situation. How is it? Getting used to island life? If you need help, come- And if you find any clues, speaking of which, Klee just asked me to help her catch fish. <sighs> come with me, if you want to. Today? Uh, frivolous happenings aren't worth your attention. And as for Kaya, <laughs> he seems to be in high spirits. Even after all these years, he still enjoys summer as much as he did as a kid. Good night. Get some rest. Hmm? Oh, that's you. Okay, what would you like to discuss? I have conducted all manner of research, but flying from Mondstadt to this island on a dragon? That was a first. It was a good experience. In the sky, just speaking requires you to muster all your strength, since the winds are so strong. Opportunities to communicate loudly with others are scarce. Although I have little interest in it, the process was... Interesting. I suppose this could be considered an unforgettable memory. The nature of this island is extraordinary. Like a sealed away secret, it opens only at specific times. And yet, the island still contains traces of human activity. Additionally, a plethora of organisms are present here. Ever since we arrived, I've been thinking, what is the limit to life? Even in the most desolate of places, will some form of life exist? Me? I'm doing quite well here. Thank you for your concern. How do you feel here? If I might ask- Okay, that's good. There are many landscapes worth drawing here. If you'd like to see, you may accompany me. Today's events didn't feel that out of the ordinary. Hmm? Sorry, do you mean when I left by myself? Uh, that was a personal choice. Don't stress over it. Sometimes, I like to be alone. Communicating with others can be a taxing affair. But, if I were to choose someone to talk to, I would pick you. You're intelligent, and I like to talk to intelligent people. All right, good night. It's you. Hmm. 
Do you want to eat fish? I'm not, but I'll stay with you. Scent is very strong. In the sky, can smell. So I came down. This place is salty. There are also leaves, grass, fruit. Your scent smells nice. Too, too much water left, right, everywhere. But I like swimming. I was worried, so I came to look. Right now, I'm hungry. I want to eat fish and meat. Today, I find you all. Everyone's okay. That's good. No bad things. I would be scared. I'll protect everyone. Hmm. Okay. Honorary night! Good timing! Would you like to watch the ocean together? Okay. Is there anything you wanted to talk about? You're probably familiar already, but... Ludi Harpastum is a traditional Mondstadt festival. During the festivities, we throw beautiful, brightly colored Harpastums into the air. It's a way for us to commemorate the Anno Archon and send them glad tidings. A festival for all ages. Klee loves Ludi Harpastum. Still, it's not quite here yet. So, I made her that special Harpastum. Oh, I hope it cheers her up. She has such a contagious smile. I, can I know my sister is always telling us to keep our guards up, but for me, these islands are a lot of fun. Sitting on the beach, looking out into the starry summer sky, humming along to the rolling waves. It's so romantic. And with you here, the summer feels just that much more special. Oh, me? Well, I... I... <sighs> you want to know the truth? I only came to the islands out of concern for everyone's safety, although I admit that I didn't want to miss out on traveling together with all of you either. I... Oh, I hope you won't laugh at me. Well, after all, a deaconess shouldn't concern herself. <sighs> then I'm glad. I had no idea the others would be here too. It was so nice to have everyone suddenly together like that. I want to use this opportunity to get closer to everyone. Especially my sister. It might just be her personality, but she's always incredibly busy. She carries a lot on her shoulder. I hope she can start to take more time for herself and relax a little more. At the very least, I hope I can make her happy when I'm around. I wonder if I should sing her a song. Hmm. No problem. See you later. Hmm. Both Jean and Kaya are absent. How peculiar. But rather than suddenly embarking on some journey, I much prefer to stay in the office and read while I work. Hmm. Both Jean, uh, rather... 